Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions, Market Insider TV, our opening commentaries here on Tuesday morning, March the 13th. Thanks for joining us. This is Brian Hoops with Midwest Market Solutions. Overnight trends, we are seeing some strength in the grain markets as we're seeing some follow through buying from Monday's late session closes as we traded lower throughout most of the day but ended up closing uh, near the highs of the day kind of a, a little bit of a hook reversal you might want to call it and we are seeing follow through strength in the overnight three to four and a half cents higher wheat futures six cent gains in the soybeans and corn up about a penny nopa crash comes out on thursday march the 15th uh, last trading day for march grains is tomorrow the uh, exporters this morning said an optional origin sale of corn of 210,000 metric tons to South Korea. Now that optional origin does not mean United States. It, it's possible it could come from the United States or another source. They have not determined that yet, but there was a sale of corn announced this morning. Uh, yesterday, USDA reported Kansas wheat crop 12% good to excellent. That's down 1% from last week. And they raised the good to excellent category from Oklahoma by 1% to to 7% good to excellent. Texas went from 10 to 13 on a little bit better rainfall chances in the state of uh, Texas. I have not heard that uh, Oklahoma received much rain, but some of the producers there, some of our clients tell us that the crop looks pretty good, uh, just could use some more rain and, uh, and some moisture. So overnight is a little bit higher here. We could get back some of these overnight gains on the opening this morning could kind of set back. But uh, if you're long, you put stops in below yesterday's lows. It looks like we made uh, you know a little correction, especially in wheat and corn with, uh, I don't think you'll see new downside risk. I don't, I don't think you're gonna take out Monday's lows here going in through the rest of the month. Um, in the livestock trade show list, they're assessed at 230,000 head this week. That's a little bit uh, larger than a week ago at 226, and it's also more than a year ago. We did hear some bids coming out of the country yesterday, and that is uh, pretty early in the week for 125 bids on a Monday. You normally don't don't hear about bids on Mondays, so it is, uh, I think, kind of impressive that we're starting to see packers wanting to buy the cattle already this week, but I think you uh, definitely have to look for steady type money this week in this uh, cattle market. So we do look for uh, a little support to come in the cattle. I think the grains do set back from these overnight highs, go back and fill a little bit, but should not uh, take out Monday's lows. If you want to get long, uh, look for a little weakness early this morning to uh, get long. And uh, looking at some of the forecasts right now, a little bit better chances of rain through the weekend for that winter wheat belt that could pull us off of our highs. Have a great day. Good luck, good trading, and give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, we have 12, uh, 10 offices around the Midwest to uh, assist you. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.